everybody, this is that three day challenge on the uh, 6 4. 6 4 power stroke. Thank you, sir. 6 4 power stroke. And now we've got the motor. Come on. It's day two. Come here. I want to show you something. That's the motor out of this truck. This is our motor. We're putting in his truck. We started assembling some of it. We had a problem with the front cover, so we ordered a new front cover. We couldn't use his front cover. But, so we're day two. And I know people are like wondering, how do they do a whole motor in three days? Because we got motors in stock. We don't pull a motor out of a truck until we got one ready to go in it. But we have to check our customer's core to make sure it's a viable core. And when we pulled the pan off of this motor, we got this. This is what came out of the pan. The best I can tell, and I think my guess is pretty good, this is the thrust bearing on the crank. And how do I know that's the thrust bearing? Because I can put a two pry bars. Come on, man, give me two pry bars. Let me show them how tough, we are. Just how tough we are, son. Yeah, that shouldn't happen. So we know that we got a bad, we probably got a bad crank, which will, uh, be docking the core, but let's rip it down. We got Speedy Gonzalez, AKA Joey, my son here. Extra small gloves. This is a father-son experience. So I'll just stand here and watch my son and, and uh, encourage him to go fast. Come on, come on. We got, we got a gray, uh, whoa, whoa. I'm going Sockets too fast. Are, Sockets are flying, man. <laughs> We're just not unbolting stuff. Our eyeballs are looking for all kinds of things. Look at that bridge. See how that's all pitted right there? That one's not. We can recondition those, but I'm just saying, those are the kind of things you want to look for. When I'm pulling these stems off, I'm looking for pitting in the stems. Notice how he started. He's going outside in when he's disassembling. And when, when you assemble it, it's inside out. I don't know, mine came off a lot easier than yours. <laughs> Be careful when you pull these gaskets off. Wee. They will cut you like a razor blade. Now remember, always keep your, ga your head gaskets. Don't throw them away. We got a few examples here on Teardown. I'm going to show you some things that we look for. Uh, obviously, we've had pieces of that thrust bearing or some, you know, come circulate around in this motor, and that's what this is. But I want to show you on this particular piston. I can probably show it on all of them. But you see how much ring gap play we have in that? And now we'll take this ring apart. Oh, diesel rings, man, they are tough. Now these are keystone rings. Diesel, diesel rings are keystone rings. So it's actually shaped like that. The ring is shaped like that. It does that to clean out that ring groove and keep the dirt out of it. Because diesels, what do they do? They're sucking soot all day long, EGR. Seen better days. Here's my thrust and it's gone. That bearing is, let's lift the crank out of here. It's, 
this main bearing here, I'm gonna be careful not to cut myself, get this off of here, but it's actually spun in the housing. That's why it's so paper thin and it's sharp as a razor blade. See all, see all the dark hot area in here? That bearing was spinning in the housing. This, this block is ruined. Now his heads might still be good, but the block and crank are junk. And so there will be a core charge on it for the block. This is kind of explaining to you, a lot of people, you know, they buy an engine from us and there's between $2,000 and $3,000 for a core charge. And it's because I need a block and a crank and cylinder heads that aren't cracked or ruined from the housing bore being damaged um, in order to have a viable core. So kind of give you an explanation of what we're looking for.